Hello, Internet. Um, this is not usually what I do, but today I'm going to be basically giving a very uh, succinct tutorial of how to make uh, your own Audacity uh, client.exe with ASIO for all included. Um, the reason I'm even doing this, first of all, ASIO for all is a type of software that is pretty much required to work with certain pieces of hardware. Um, I was recently gifted a Behringer microphone, which is a really well-made German microphone, um, but the uh, system requires me to have ASIO for all. Um, the normal audio recording software that I would use and I have used in the past is Audacity. Interestingly enough, Audacity supports ASIO for all, um, but it doesn't support it out of the box. So what you have to do is you have to get the Audacity source code and you have to build your own form of Audacity with ASIO in it from the ground up. Now this requires a lot of coding and a lot of deep technical knowledge that I don't have even still, but that's why I'm going to walk you through what we're doing. So let's get right to it. First, let me tell you what would have to happen if you didn't have this available. Uh, you would have to look up this one YouTube video that this guy put together. But if you looked up the Audacity and ASIO for All Windows YouTube video, the single one that's helpful, uh, you would actually see that it's just a guy talking about how hard it is. Um, so then you'd probably go to the Wikipedia, because Audacity's got this wonderful Wikipedia, and they tell you uh, exactly how to compile your own version of Audacity, both on the forums and in the wiki. So you'd go and you'd click into uh, compiling, on Windows or developing on Windows, and that takes you to build on Windows, and then you see all this. Hoo hoo hoo! I have no idea what any of that means. I mean, I know what some of it means now after this week, but like, I didn't. So, here's the forum. Just the forum. Steve A. Lee compiled this script, and you can scroll down, and you see all the stuff that happened. I'll post a link to this in the video. Um, I'm actually going to start you on the bottom step of the detailed instructions, because I find it easier to do if you do that that stuff first. Um, cause then you can sort of let everything take care of itself. So I'm just going to start off and fire right off into it. Um, what you're going to do, open up a new tab. Uh, we're looking for, uh, Microsoft Visual Studio, um, 2017 specifically. 2019's newer and better, but actually this code only works with 2017. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to Google 2017, hit download, you probably won't see this screen at first. Um, this is the version that you want to download, um, but it'll probably say that you don't have the correct subscription. If you don't have the correct subscription, you don't got to pay for anything. Um, there's actually a developer subscription that you're going to see in a second here that you can just get for free in perpetuity, and that'll allow you to download old versions of Visual Studio. So you get yourself Visual Studio 2017. Next thing's next, you are going to get Git for Windows. Uh, what is Git? That's a good question. I'm sure there are people who have better answers for you. Uh, it seems to me to be like a way to share files pretty seamlessly online. I think that's what it is. That's a good way to describe it, but there are probably people who know better than I do about that. Um, so you're going to download Git for Windows. Neither of these matter in terms of where you're putting them. Uh, probably just put them in your regular C drive. Um, next, open a command prompt. Um, right now I'm going to teach you how to make a folder in command prompts. I didn't know this beforehand. Uh, but you're going to type in mkdir space capital C colon backslash projects because we're going to be operating this right out of projects. Um, then, just to prep yourself for the next stage, uh, you're going to switch over into that folder. So by typing lowercase c, lowercase d, uh, and then the projects line, uh, you should be able to make it so that you're operating out of projects in your Windows uh, command line. So the last thing you need is the Stenberg SDK ASIO package. So what you're going to do, just very simple, Google it. You can find his website. It's really easy to do. I'll put a link to it in the video, actually. Um, but you're going to go to his website. You're going to download the ASIO SDK package. It's a developer's kit. Um, it's going to give you a zipped file. Uh, you're going to unzip it 
and transfer it to a folder that you can make inside of projects called ASIO SDK. Um, you'll see all this lovely stuff right here. Mm, look at those good pieces of software that I have no idea what any of them do, man. Um, and you're going to take them and you're going to put them in a new folder. Uh, if you want to get all fancy, you can make your new folder with your new skills and command prompt. But primarily, just get a nice folder, make it, put it in there. I did this in the wrong order, but, you know, it's pretty easy to do. I'm just, and, and now we have to wait for me to, to, to do this. Um, yeah, you make the folder, you put the things in the folder. It's pretty simple. Um, hell, I'll take this moment to thank the two people who helped me on the forums. Primarily Steve A. Lee, who was a badass and... Uh, wrote the script, but also Victor Westman, who was constantly prompting us for, like, to do the things. Um, I basically tested the script a lot, and Steve wrote it, because he knows what he's doing. So you got them all right there in your folder. Okay, we're gonna proceed. So the next step is you are going to save this lovely, lovely um, script. Don't save the instructions like I tried to right there that that beginner's mistake <laughs> but you're actually going to right click on the raw button and hit save link as which will allow you to save it as a command script which is what you need it as uh, build-audacity.cmd so you save that to your projects file boom very easy now back in the command script you got all the stuff you need you just type in build-audacity.cmd and then the script should do the rest it's really that simple. Steve wrote a brilliant script that should do all of the other work. It'll import the other stuff. There's WX widgets and all sorts of things that I don't know how to build with and I don't know how to use Visual Studio, but um, with this, it should work. We've bugged, we've figured out how to make it work. He, he figured out how to make it work. I just sort of helped. Um, so we're gonna fast forward to when that's done. Ta-da! At the end of it, uh, you should really see, um, it should say that it's uh, compiled a bunch of things. There are a bunch of warnings. I can't tell you what those mean. I wish I could, but you should see that you have audacity.exe now. And that's the whole point. Um, in fact, if you go to your folders and you go into projects again, go right into projects right there. And you hit Audacity, you go down to Win, because you're on a Windows, and you go to Release, because this is the release that you've made. And you click it, you should see that you actually have an Audacity application. And look right there, ASIO for all. Um, I hope this was helpful, and thanks for tuning in. If you like monologues, and or you like theater, um, I have a good monologue channel that I've sort of got going here. Uh, I know it's not the... Uh, not the reason he came here, probably, but uh, check it out. I think I do some good work. Um, thanks for watching, and take care.